it's all over but the grind And nobody's crying but me Friends all over, so I'm crying Hello and welcome back. This is episode 23, I believe. And today we are going to finally go to my absolute favorite place, Nuka World. So I'm going to get rid of some of this crap because I'm just carrying like an extreme amount of stuff. And I think a lot of it is just from wiping out some of the um, workbenches. I can always get more of that if I need it. All right. Let me get rid of that. Don't need two of those. Okay, I think I'm good. Okay, I got my power armor on. So yeah, let's listen to the radio. what that bear is fighting. Okay, I'm gonna cut the radio off. So I might only be able to get through the gauntlet. The gauntlet? <laughs> which is what the beginning is if you've never played before. Um, and then just, we'll see how long it takes to get through it. Normally it doesn't take that long for me to get through it just cause I have played it so many times that I kinda know what's going on. No one investigates that signal until this place is secure. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put you on my team. I love it. Tear it up, girl. Detection mode. Where'd she go? Kills orders. Mm, she's gone. Okay. Enemy combatant. Reveal yourself. You are merely delaying the inevitable. Engaging. I think he moved. Okay, let's go in here. Jesus, shit. They're gonna die. Get 
playing me like a fiddle. What happened to you? Raiders. That's what those bastards have my family. You you gotta help me. Please. Tell me what happened. They fooled us. Big time. My family and I ran into some traitors a while back. Told us they knew a safe settlement at Nuka World. But when we got there, found out there are raiders the whole time. Just stringing us along. I managed to escape, but my wife and son are still back there. I wanted to get some help and go back for them, but didn't count on taking a bullet. Let me help you first. I have a stim pack. No, no. I'll be fine. Save it for my wife and kid. For Lisa and Cody. This is where he tries to trick me. Um, so I'm gonna say, why pass? I'm offering you a way to heal yourself. Why pass that up? Damn it. Look, you got me. I ain't injured, okay? Just can't do this anymore. The raiders back at Nuka World put me up to this. They lure people in and kill them for fun, and I'm done doing their dirty work. Let them find me and do what they want. Let me help. I'll go face them. You don't have to die. Are you? You're serious? Just be warned. This ain't no walk in the park. Here, take this. It's the password to the monorail control terminal. The fastest way to get to Nuka World is to take the Nuka Express. But I shut it down to help sell my story. Makes it more believable if I say I'm trying to keep the raiders at bay. Find the control terminal in the office to power it back up. And once you're on your way, be careful. Okay, so we're gonna turn the railroad on. I don't know why I love Nuka World so much, but Hello. And on behalf it's of just the Nuka Cola Corporation, we'd like to welcome each and every one of you aboard the Nuka Express monorail. For your own safety, please remain seated or utilize the provided handrail while the train is in motion. If you'll direct your attention to the right side of the monorail, you can observe Nuka World's famous Biztop Mountain. Standing at over 100 meters tall, this top mountain is the largest man-made structure in Nuka World and features the five-star Biztop Grill. Coming up in the heart of Nuka World, Nuka Town, USA. Well, look who learned the truth and still showed up. I guess Harvey played his cards right after all. I only got a minute, so you better listen, and listen good. The name's Gage, Porter Gage, and our mutual friend Harvey only told you half the truth. You're still heading straight into a death trap. But if you somehow make it through alive, I have an interesting offer for you. In the meantime, have fun and put on a good show. I'll be watching. I just feel like they put a lot of time and effort into this... this world. Attention all my favorite undesirables out there. In case you haven't noticed, it looks like we got ourselves some fresh meat to run the gauntlet. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get in here. Inspiration from our previous victims.
I guess it would help if I had a bullet in there, huh? Detection system must be on the fritz. I love my stranger. Pick up the pace, Vic. My strangers, uh, my strangers really showing up today. I'm fine with being shot, but don't vibrate me to death. I hate that. Makes it impossible to even move. Okay, I just don't like when my power armor falls apart. Oh, our new mixture knows how to dodge some bullets. Good thing that's not all we got in store for her. Okay, this is where I... You know what? Isn't there like another door over here that I can just go through? I'm pretty sure there is. Yeah, I can just go through this door instead of doing all that. Yes. Sounds like watching a conductor. So our little Vic managed to pick one tiny little lock. Let's see how long the gauntlet lets her enjoy that one. Okay. Again with these stupid ladders. <sighs> Wish me luck. I hate going over that. Alright. I think there's another door, possibly, to get through. Oh, I forgot there's someone back here. Okay. Well, I'm not worried about it. Uh, let me undo this. And this. And I think I'm good going through here, except for that one. And it's decision time! All doors lead to death, some just a little slower than others. Alright, let me get some Radix. Yet. 
The gauntlet's not that bad if you know where you're going. And see this one, I guess I don't really understand. Because they just don't go off. I think you have to grab the monkey. Like you have to grab it and then it'll start going off, but I don't want the monkey. I don't want jangles. That's it. Okay. Oh, what? Call me crazy, but I think our fix got something against fun. I always miss that one. Along. Okay. Time for things to get dangerous. See if she survives what's next. I know there's a bunch of uh, mines around. But it's kind of annoying because if I don't walk on them, I don't think they should go off. Like that. That was kind of stupid. I'm just letting them all go off. I really don't care. Okay. So for this next one... I'm gonna... I'm just gonna wait right here. There we go. And now I don't have to deal with the Meyer looks. <laughs> Disarm that. And this is where all. Uh, excuse me. The audacity of you guys to chase me. That's wild. Okay. For this one I have to be really careful with all of the uh, traps and there's some uh, grenades too. Uh, I'm not seeing any more. This next one has a bunch of stuff. It doesn't though. I've done it like 25 times. <laughs> Actually, I really don't know how many times I've done it. Me yeah. disarm. So while we're doing this, I've been watching the uh, Gypsy Rose Life Good After rest. Lockup. Very interesting. Shit. <sighs> okay that's fine anyways I've been watching the gypsy rose life after lockup I'm obsessed I, I can't help it I'm not. I can't um oh my gosh I can't see I can't see Anyways, I'm like obsessed with her life and I've watched it, um, I've watched like everything, the documentaries, all of it. 
and I know that it's a very unpopular opinion, but I like Gypsy. I, um, I feel bad for her. Because I know she went through a lot. This has nothing to do with Fallout 4, but I figured while you're watching me play, we might as well talk about something other than Fallout 4. So if you have any opinions about the Gypsy Rose case, let me know. Uh, from what I can tell, the girl has been super traumatized. And she's just trying to figure stuff out. Imagine not being able to do anything like normal people do, like regular people do, like get your license or go to prom. <laughs> she's like almost, what, she's, she's 30 something, right? And she never experienced any of it. I mean, she saw some celebrities and stuff like that, but she's just like her whole teenage life she was just controlled but anyways yeah I've been watching the actual nice. life after lockup on lifetime it's pretty interesting I'm not team Ryan or team Ken like either one of them I don't know I haven't really seen much of Ken yeah there's teams apparently I don't really get involved in this crap anymore but Gypsy Rose, I've been like following her case since I was able to like follow a case. <laughs> I just think I just feel bad for her. She seems really, really nice and she yeah, people call her manipulative and stuff like that, but who cares? She learned it from her mom. Could she have handled the situation better? Yeah. That's right, Vic! Why does he keep calling me Vic? Yes. <sighs> While well, you can. Oh, let's get a move on. Doesn't matter what you do, the gauntlet gets them all in the end. I don't know why he keeps calling me Vic. Ooh, bottle caps. There's bottle caps everywhere. Okay, this is where I kept messing up when I first played this. The best thing to do right here is to save and just walk. Walk, walk, walk. Walk, 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 walk. Doesn't matter if you have the turret because he can't get you from here. Just keep walking until you get to the door. Make sure you have stem pack, but like no one's going to get you if you don't lolly like if you don't lollygag through that area that's how i messed up before and then you're in the home stretch well i'll be damned you know what that sound means get your ass down to cola cars the main event's about to begin you got me wired up yet gage yeah boss finally now go shut off that damn alarm all right i'm on it now where? Ah, there's my next victim now. <laughs> Don't look like much. Here's a quick rundown and a show where I decorate these walls here with your lovely brains. Thanks to this suit, I'm the only one that wins this fight. Period. You think that power armor will do you any good? Think again. All right, Gage. Let her through. Something tells me I'm really gonna enjoy this. Not really. It's almost time. After a run like that, this ought to be the best slaughter yet. Remember, longest survival time against Coulter still stands at one minute thirty. All right, listen the hell up. If you want to make it out of this alive, I've only got a minute. Okay. Find the intercom on the wall. Before I talk to him, I'm going to grab the thirst zapper mini nuke. No, I just want to grab everything before you annoy me. I'm wasting here. Okay, and now I'm going to go through here. 
Hey, I know you're still in there. You're gonna have to give me a minute, Gage. Okay, and steal this. Okay, now we can talk to you. We gonna do this or not? Can you shush? Who is this? I'm the guy that's gonna get you out of this alive. So listen up. All right, I'm listening. My kind of gal. Look, you made it this far. You obviously got skill, but this fight coming up is rigged. You get me? Over boss Coulter. His power armor's set up to draw energy from the electric grid in the arena. Damn thing's invincible. You name it, someone's tried it. Miniguns, grenades, not a scratch. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I wouldn't expect anything less from a raider. <laughs> you know us well, then. You want to win? I stashed a weapon in the lockers. Get it. I already grabbed that. I'm armed and ready to go. Gotta admit, I didn't think you'd be so excited to find out a squirt gun is the key to saving your life. Yeah, yeah, I know what it looks like. You're just going to have to trust me. I've always wanted one of these. I made a great toy for Sean. Oh, great. You're a lucky day. Congratulations. Now we can get on with it. Once the water hits Coulter's electrically charged power armor, the circuits are gonna short out. It'll kill his defenses, but you only have so much time to do some damage before they recharge. You take him out, I promise you, it'll be worth every minute spent in this gauntlet. Consider it done. That's what I like to hear. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let me get in here. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that the uh, squirt gun. Oh, where is it? Oh, the thirst sapper. Okay. I'm gonna put that right here. And then I'm going to make sure that my nuke is actually you know what I don't think I even need that I can just hit him with the Adams thing now I'm gonna save it just in case I die it's funny when he does this and dies in like two seconds <laughs> not happening this quick. Oh, 
Nuka. Normally I use the uh, mini nuke, but I think, I don't know. Need the password. And the key. This chick? Are you sure, Gage? You better know what the hell you're doing. Hey, we talked about this. She survived the gauntlet. She was smart enough to take my advice, strong enough to kill Coulter. She's what we need. How about we show some respect for our new leader, eh? She'll get respect when she earns respect. Amen. What did I tell you? Worked like a charm. Thanks to you. Not a bad plan. And what do you know? It worked. I get that you have no idea what's going on and everything is coming at you real fast. But you need to listen. Taking out Colder wasn't just a last minute decision. It was something a few of us here have been working on for a while. Now that he's actually gone, We've got ourselves a vacancy in the overboss department. And guess what? You just got the job. All I'm asking is that you trust me on this and give it a shot. I swear, it'll be worth it. First you lure me in here, and now you want me to run the place. Something like that. Let me explain. There are three raider gangs that run the show at Nuka World. The Disciples, the Operators, and the Pack. And yeah, if the names didn't give it away, these ain't your typical raiders. These morons don't exactly play nice with each other. Thanks to Coulter, this place is a powder keg just waiting to blow sky high. One wrong move, and we're going to have a bloodbath on our hands. I think you have what it takes to turn things around and keep these gangs from tearing each other apart. Sounds like fun. Count me in. That's the spirit. Now, I'm sure you got a lot of questions, but this ain't the place. Meet me at the Overbosses, your new quarters, the restaurant on top of good old Fizz Top Mountain. We can talk there. Just let me get that door for you. There. Okay, so this is probably where I'm going to end it. Um, I appreciate you guys for watching, and this isn't going to be a super long outro. I'll come back and meet uh, Porter Gage in Fisttop Mountain. Thanks for watching. Bye. But the cry And nobody's crying But me